Yo, I just want to share something with, with y'all real quick. You know, the Bible talks about the law being the strength of sin. That's over in the book of Corinthians. And we understand now that nothing we give attention to can manifest in our life or can tempt us. You can't be tempted with nothing that you don't give attention to. So we want to try to shift our attention and begin to focus on the things of God. When we begin to focus on our Father, God who are in heaven, you know, his mercy, his grace, his love, we will begin to be tempted with godly things. And these are the things that will begin to manifest in our life. Because why? Because we're giving attention to it. We give more attention to the things of God versus the things that produces sin. Now, it's not about um, our sin sending us to hell or anything like that. Sin is not bigger than our God. But it can produce a negative life. It can produce bad fruit, negative things. The things of God produces good stuff, good things, positive things. You know, the Bible say those who mind and stay on thee will be kept in perfect peace, nothing lacking, full of supply. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the supplier. He is our provider. But when we focus on other things that causes the temptation of sin, then we reap the benefit of sin, which is bad things, you know, a negative lifestyle. And that's not what God wants for us. He wants the best for us. He wants us to be able to experience paradise, heaven on earth. That's why he say pray in this manner on earth as it is in heaven. But when only that can happen is when we continue to keep our minds stay on him. And he wants what's best for us. You know, so we want to begin to meditate and keep our mind and our focus on the things of God so that we may be tempted with the things of God and begin to produce godly behavior meaning a righteous lifestyle. What is righteousness? A right relationship with God. We begin to produce a lifestyle that displays a relationship with God and then others around us will begin to be inspired and, and tempted um, by a relationship with God and ultimately become the righteousness of God because why? They're in right relationship with God and not only will we begin to see a change in ourselves, but we'll begin to see a change in others and ultimately a change in our community. If we really want to see a change in our community, this is what needs to take place, a change in each one of us. Thank y'all and to the next. Be someone blessed and remember God loves you and he is love.